guys and companies that are causing a dent in the tech space in Africa. They are the next set of guys that you need to look out for. This is Dami on Niger Business TV. My name is Moses Olafenwa. I'm the CEO of DeepQuest AI. DeepQuest AI is an artificial intelligence company. We work extensively on providing AI tools and engine and resources to empower developers, companies, businesses, individuals, research teams, both in the private and public sector, to build AI systems and solve problems using artificial intelligence. I'm a self-taught computer programmer, an artificial intelligence expert, a computer vision and deep learning practitioner. At DeepQuest AI, we have built a number of projects that are used globally around the world. One of which is Image AI, which is a computer vision tool for Python developers. Image AI is less than eight months old, but right now it's being used by over 40,000 developers around the world. And they use it to build various systems, various AI applications, various AI systems to solve different problems in healthcare, in automation, oil and gas, uh, it's in history and a number of other sectors. When we got into artificial intelligence, we realized that there have been uh, tremendous progress in the field. But unfortunately, because of the difficulty of being able to deploy and use the technology, it's a number of people have not been able to leverage the opportunities in artificial intelligence to build smarter apps and smarter systems with better performance and efficiency. So that's why we went ahead to create an ecosystems of tools, books, tutorials and resources, documentations around our products and around our projects that empower developers using very few lines of code and using any programming language that they use to build powerful and smart applications and systems to solve different problems, whether in industries, research institutions or companies. Starting DeepQuest AI, uh, we bootstrapped uh, our team and then uh, we, with the resources that we have at hand, we were able to make some impressive projects which we had traction around the world. So, so through interaction we were able to get and then we applied it to the FB Start Accelerator by Facebook and then we got $20,000 funding which has enabled us to build a more robust artificial intelligence engine which any developer in any programming language can be used of and completely offline deploy artificial intelligence systems that you can use to power the applications and build smart systems. Our goal, personally as the founders of DeepQuest AI and also uh, as a company, is to ensure that in a few years to come, developers who build at the digital age we live right now, in terms of apps, in terms of websites, in terms of software systems, can be able to leverage artificial intelligence to build better applications and serving different business and personal purposes, to be able to improve social economic life for the over 3 billion people who are connected to the, to the uh, internet and also be able to get technology to reach to the, every corner of the head, smarter technology that makes life better, that make work better and then solve real world problems. My advice to go enthusiasts and upcoming entrepreneurs is that before they venture into any business or making any product, they should put first the impact of their product as a priority and put all their minds, all their resources in making it happen. And the second is for them to believe in what they want to do because the first thing in making something possible is to believe that you can. And put all the resources you have and all your time and put all the dedication to ensure that you bring the idea into reality and put the impact first is very, very important because when you are driving by impact, whatever other gain you are expecting from it, be able to get traction and be able to get the finance to even build better projects, it will eventually come as much as, as far as you make the right impact with the right idea you have in mind. Africa compared to the rest of the world is still uh, relatively behind in digital technology and emerging technologies. 
But uh, I would say that Africa is probably making the fastest progress in evolving and catching up with future technology. So uh, I will advise every single African out there to look not just to technology that we have today, but to the emerging technologies, because that's where we have the opportunity to create new things and uh, bring the image of Africa to the world, that we are not just consumers of technology, that we are also creators of technology. So emerging technologies like the Internet of Things, IoT, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and more, these are technologies that are emerging technologies are going to define what the social economic activity is going to look like uh, in the next decades to come. So I uh, will encourage Africans, everyone from different countries in Africa, to embrace emerging technology and start working on solving various problems around them and also problems around the world using this emerging technology. Basically, at my free time, I do love to listen to music, watch movies about technology and about the future. And I also like to watch movies about family and also like to watch documentaries about history, about politics, about science, inventions and projections for the future. So basically, and occasionally, occasionally, just have to hang out with a couple of people and then basically discuss technology. So more and more like technology person even, even at work and also at play.